Okay, good morning everyone, and thanks for joining us, or afternoon, uh, depending where you're calling from. So today we're launching the new version of Verkeasy Dental, and we're just going to do a little brief welcome to everybody and give some background on haptics and VR, and just a little overview of what we're doing today. So we have some clients of Verkeasy with us today, but we also have some people that are brand new to this as well. So I'll just switch you over to our presentation. And so we're looking at technology in dental education. And you know, as well as I do, that at the moment universities train using real patients and extracted teeth. Now these might be real extracted teeth or we use plastic teeth in the phantom heads as well. Now obviously this poses a few problems normally. And if we look at the standard workflow, students might just be learning the theory for the first year going over to the phantom heads and then over to their first real patients. Now in a normal year this has a number of challenges that we're using patients uh, sometimes fairly early on in a student's training. The consumables can quickly become expensive when we need to replace them every treatment and the students they're coming to university now expecting a modern education and expecting the technology as well but this year we have a number of extra complications unfortunately the spread of diseases which is paramount with the use of aerosols in our traditional clinics social distancing with the installed units that are there already and how do we support students who are at risk of catching uh, these diseases as well so we're going to do some introductions before we continue with today's webinar. And what we do, we're going to head over to the audience first. So I'm going to bring you over to the Mentimeter. And here you'll be able to start logging on through the website. I see we've already got some people there, which is awesome. And to the right of the video, you have a login to Mentimeter. The code's there and you'll be able to respond to where you're from, and also give us some background on uh, your experience with these type of simulators and simulation in the past. And we'll be back very shortly.
Okay, fab. Thank you to everyone who's been joining us on the Mentimeter. Looks like we've got an amazing diverse mix today of people without haptics, people who have one simulator, and some clients I know that are joining us uh, who have a simulation suite. So welcome back to those we know, and a pleasure to meet you to those we don't. So you guys have done a little introduction and given us some idea of where you're calling from today. And just to come back onto that slide, we've got a load of universities from India today, and then France, Chile, and UK, and a load of other places, including Ecuador there as well. So again, a huge welcome. And now we'll come back to our presentation so we can give you some introductions to ourselves as well. So today I'm here joined very luckily by the CEO of HRV Simulation, Arno Cosson, who's here with us on Skype and I'll get him up on the screen. There we go. Well, good afternoon, Arno. How are you? Yeah, very well. So thanks for joining us on the launch for Vertiz 2020-06. It's exciting because there's so much new stuff uh, to do as well. And as you saw there, we've got a big mix. We've got some clients from Vertizy that we've got already, but we've also got people uh, that this is their first time actually experiencing Vertizy and everything it has to offer. Uh, so I guess if I can, I'll pass over to you for a quick introduction overview into HRV and Vertizy as well. Okay, thank you, James. Uh, thank you everybody for joining uh, our webinar. Uh, we are very happy to, to welcome you in order to introduce all the new features available on VirtiZ Dental. Um, we started um, VirtiZ se seven years ago, and I really think we, we reached a point where it's, uh, it's the time to widespread our technology in dental school because it's, uh, it's ready to use, it brings a lot of innovation, and I, I really think today we have the most complete simulation suit uh, available uh, on the market. Because it's not only, we're not talking only about simulation, we, we are talking about uh, pedagogy, we are talking about bringing uh, tools to students in A learning loop about um, James will will give you uh, more details on all these features that will hollow your dental school to uh, bring that technology to help educating new dentists. We are very happy to uh, to uh, have our technology available in all the continents. Um, we are very happy to, to be present on all the continents and being able to help you discovering our technology. Uh, we can plan meetings, we can plan demos. Don't hesitate to contact us, to contact James, and we will be more than happy to, uh, to give you more insights on, uh, on the TZ. I think that's all for me. Uh, thank you, James, and uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, for attending the that's webinar. Fair. Thank you for the introduction, Arno, and thank you for the overview of HRV. Uh, like Arno says to everyone, uh, this has been many years in the work. I mean, 30Z, the first simulator uh, that went deployed was back in 2015. So a lot of work has gone into this, turning it from a standalone simulator into a complete simulation suite uh, for universities and we're more than happy to help anyone out uh, where we can with online uh, demos, support, etc. So please, like Arno says, don't hesitate to contact us after the webinar as well. you also find uh, with the Mentimeter there, you can ask questions as we're going along. Uh, so feel free to join in and we'll come back to those at the end. So a quick introduction to myself, my name's James Markey and I'm Head of Sales for Vertizy Dental. So all of you that have currently got Vertizy, you know me already. So hello again and welcome back. And for those of you that don't, I'll be your point of contact if you need 
any quotes or estimates for your new simulation suite. I also help provide the customer support and I help the team in terms of the priorities for what they're developing. So I'm really like the inter interlocking position between the development team and all the sales and the customer. So it's my pleasure to be here with you today and I look forward to showing you the new version of Vertizi as well. Covering 2020.06, loads of new features to show you and I'm super proud of the team for what they've done. But for you, for those of you who haven't had Vertizi or these type of simulators before, we've got a little introduction from 3D Systems on haptics and I'll take you through the history of virtual simulation and the accreditation that's currently going through. And then our dental trading solution. So without any further ado, here's what our simulator looks like, 30 Easy Dental. And you see the top screen there is tactile navigation, 3D glasses to give you a perception of depth as you're working on the wow factor comes from the haptic devices here. So they allow you to use the hand within the simulation and then it gives you force feedback. The whole idea is that you can give virtual treatments to virtual patients, but get the sensations that you would from a real treatment. So that's the number one wow factor when you sit down. But what makes VertiZ special is the virtual reality. You're no longer dealing with floating teeth, but you've got a full scene there and a full virtual patient to give virtual treatments to. So I'm going to hand you over now to 3D Systems that did a great introduction to VertiZ and you'll be able to see the haptics in use as well. So I'll pass you over to that and I'll be back in a few moments. Okay, it looks like there might be a few difficulties with it loading. I'm just going to try to get it up direct for you with YouTube. And if that doesn't work, I'll go once more into the presentation and see whether we can get that out. Uh, the final level of virtual training, we'll, we will use a demo from one of our OEM partners, Vertizi, in France. Project owner James Markey shows us how the training simulation is broken down into stages so that students can understand the course in bite-sized chunks and progress through the curriculum at his or her own pace. To illustrate the levels of learning, James starts the curriculum Okay, it looks like we're having a few problems connecting to the YouTube channel. So what we'll do, we'll come back to the presentation 
and hopefully this will be working in the background. You know, by educating uh, the surgeons we'll, on using we'll the haptic one last control trick. drill simulations. So here in this simulation, each key has a physical property Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna let that be for the moment, and we're trying to come back to it a little bit later. You can hear me oh well, but now we're just gonna go back a little bit and understand simulation in its entirety. So the first simulators that really took off and had an impact were with aeroplanes and aviation. So in the fifties, you see these basic simulators. Now, as technology impressed, the haptics was okay because it was the same as what we had on the planes. But it's really the power of the systems to deliver an immersive experience that changed it. And that's what allowed it to become standardized and have qualifications as part of it as well. Not see much until the early 2000s. So here's an example from King's College London with the Haptel project. And we can see the floating teeth there. And as technology has improved, the current generation of simulators has very good haptics. But these immersive scenes, it's that same progression we saw with aviation, we're just starting to get there with dentistry now. And with VertEasy, it goes back to 2007, with a focus on implant psychology. And that's what's led us to where we are today. So here's our simulator, and it's not only the simulator nowadays, but a whole digital classroom. So we start off with a teach PC, a server, and then we can actually create new exercises. So we're not stuck with the library that's already on there, but we can create new ones. And we can do this from a full 3D library of micro CT scan teeth, an intro scan from a real patient, or even a CT DICOM scan as well. So what's new with this version? We've got improvements in implantology and we've got deciduous teeth as well. So I'm going to switch over now to my screen and give you a little demo of exactly that. Here we go. So if I go into standard exercise, you have your overview and creation. But what's really interesting here right now is the solid creation step three. I can import from library and I have all these deciduous teeth. So let's get up a nice one here. And you see it builds it from models from the dentine, the enamel and the pulp. And you can change all the density on this as well. You can also change the transparency and we can see there the quality of them. We can also add in adjacent teeth as well. And you can choose what's haptic enabled so that you can create exercises in prostodontics, for instance. There we go. So get that up nice and large for you. So there's our new deciduous teeth so we can create exercises. We can add in the caries and the target to remove. And we've also got the new toolkits as well. So you can add all the type of tools that you need and then export it straight to VertEasy. So test and save. It'll then export it to the server and it's available on all of the simulators which are connected. So that's Vertizi Edda and the Deciduous Teeth. And then beyond that, once we've created the exercise, it's then available on the simulators. Now what's new on the simulators? Quite a lot. We've got integration of Vertizi Assistant and it's been redesigned to work with the Linux simulators. 
student notifications so they can see when their teachers have updated their marks, self-assessment and reflection module, and new exercises. And so I'm now going to load up Vert Easy Dental so you can see exactly what's going on. Okay, so here's our login page. If I log in as an administrator, you'll see our navigation. And we've got restoration, endodontics, prostodontics, and implantology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up one of the restorative exercises for you. And you see this is with a full virtual patient as well. I'm just going to load up some haptic data. And then we can go ahead and choose our burrs, fast speed, slow speed, and probe. And then as we're working, you'll see a real-time evaluation here of what's going on. So we can see the parts removed that are within the target in green and outside there in red. Now when we're finished, we can now terminate the exercise. And we have the 3D model and these new self-assessment questions. So you can give certain questions to the students so they can mark their own work before you have to. And you can now activate self-reflection as well. So here we can go floor smoothness, the flatness of the floor of my preparation or good because I established a stable finger rest. I can go back and have a look at my self-assessment questions. And when I'm ready, go to the reflection menu send these off. So that's now sent off to the teacher for marking. But here we have VertEasy Assistant built into the simulator. So if I log in on this one as an administrator, and you're going to see this the new VertEasy Assistant, which is optimized for the Linux simulator as well. So here I'm logged in as a teacher. And if I open up a past review for a student account in implantology, I can see the simulator's score, how it's marked it, a model of their work. Hello, student. And see their responses to the questions. Well done. Finally, I can give them a graded score based on how the university works and finalize everything just here. So remember that, that was done as a teacher. So I can then log out of the simulator, log back in as the student this time. And now you see down here, we've got notifications which say you've got two notifications in VertEasy Assistant. So now we're going to launch it back up, this time as a student. And you'll see that no matter who we're logged in as, we have an automatic login. And here I've got only my results because I'm logged in as this student. And I can see which ones have a notification. So I can open up the implantology we finalized. I can see my grade as well as any comments the teacher might have left me. Here we go. So like I say, we've also got some new exercises built into VertEasy Dental, and I'll show you that a little bit later on. So we've now created our exercise. We've done the exercise 
on the simulator. And as you saw there, we're then able to get all of the data out from Vertis the Assistant. Now that's used to project the image on the screens as well as manage all the marking and the courseware. So Vertis the Assistant also allows us to do all of the data, all of the control. So set up classes, 3D print the work, if you have a 3D printer of course, uh, teacher-student communication you saw briefly, and also personalize the entire system. So we've now got admin tune-up controls and the evaluation view. So I'm going to load up 30Z system, and then we'll show you the admin side as well. So here we are. So the admin button is just down here on the bottom right. And when I log in, we now have this section manage on the left. And you'll find your LDAP settings for your university network and configure your classroom. So if we don't like the new features, we can actually disable their functionality on here. So we just use this switch to turn off assessment and reflection. I'm going to keep it on because I find it really handy. There we go, so that's Verti's assistant. And now to show you what the simulation suite looks like. So here we have as many simulators as are needed for a simulation suite. Connect it to a central server which our teacher PC is then connected to as well. But that's not it, we can also integrate with all the hardware within the university. So you can import patient scans from STL and CTs, and like I say, export the results for your 3D printer as well. So these new simulation curriculum looks like this. In the first year, you can do a mix of theory and simulation. So the students actually get some hands-on experience. Then they go to Phantom Heads and mix with the simulator and the virtual patients. Then when we go on to treat patients for the first time, we can actually practice this in advance on the simulator by importing those STL and DICOM scans. So we're going to try now another video if YouTube's catched up with us. And this is Tashkent State Dental Institute. And some of their students very kindly did us a video to show you what they felt about it. So here we go. Of course, I like this kind of simulators because I can make every uh, kind of preparations in these uh, simulators. And also, I like that I can imagine that I'm working with the real patient. I think that it's really good. And I like uh, the feeling between the uh, enamel, dentine, and pulp. I can really feel that. Sometimes before uh, we see, um, we heard about such program, a simulation program for dentists, but we think it's only a dream. And now uh, when we can see it in our institute, so as for me, it's great. I'm very grateful to you and to our um, to our department of our institute because I'm very happy to uh, to work such right way, and I think it's very necessary to our study. So that was a quick little bit of feedback from some of the students from Tashkent State Dental Institute. They've got a simulation suite of around four simulators and they do international competitions between Tazakhstan, Kazakhstan and all the surrounding countries, which is just awesome. And we're hoping that they'll be able to do that with some of our other universities as well. So they very recently gave a presentation and you can catch that online. Now, one of the last things I want to talk to you about is some of the extra projects we're doing. So this is Vertizi University 
and this is a project with Epic Games, the creators of the Unreal Engine and the popular game Fortnite. So they're funding us to bring VertiZ to the Unreal Engine and you'll be able to see lots of graphical improvements and also do a project in VR headsets to see if that translates to dental education as well. So one last video for you, it works just to show you the concept of it all. it looks super exciting and we're hoping in the next releases we'll be able to provide you with a public prototype of that as well. At the moment we're demoing some of the work to events that we go to and as well as some of our universities that work with us as development partners. So VertiZ Dental, just to highlight some of our early customers that have helped us get to this point where we're ready to really expand. I mean, we're in just over 30 universities now, more than 80 simulators, and a huge thanks to places like the University of Sheffield, which has helped us forward the development partner since day one. We've got universities like Universidad San Sebastian in Chile, Plymouth in the UK, and Lille à Loire in France. And it's been a pleasure working with all of them. So that gives you a quick overview as to some of the new features in our new release 2020-06 and there's nothing more to do but see whether you have any questions but for those of you that are going to be leaving now a huge thank you for joining us and feel free to reach out to us on LinkedIn, on Twitter or by email uh, it would be a pleasure to hear from you so we're going to switch over to back to the Mentimeter and see whether you've posted any questions as we've gone along Okay, so the first question is how much? Okay, so if you're interested in getting a quote, an estimate for these systems, then your best bet is to email sales at vertiz.com. And then depending on your project, depending on all the other situations, uh, we can provide you a quote on all of that. So let me see if I can get that up on the screen. So on here, That's sales at vertiz.com. Okay, and then let's see. Okay, so why vertiz? So you might have seen there are some other simulators that use haptics available uh, in the market. Now, what makes vertiz unique? is a number of things, is the virtual patient. You don't usually see that at the moment with some of the older simulators. So we have the virtual scene, the virtual patient, so it's really immersive. It also allows us to build out and add in other features in the future that aren't possible if you're only working on 3D teeth. So imagine we could add in patient interaction, etc. And since day one, we've offered free updates. So you'll be able to benefit from those as we go along, unless of course that changes in the future. So it's best to get involved early. And whilst we have an implantology module that's unique to Vertizy 
because we also have the planning stages, not just the simulation where you're doing the, the preparatory drill, but the planning. So you can compare your plan as a student against the plan of the teacher, which is really unique. And then you saw all the stuff with Epic Games. Uh, you saw the library of exercise that's in there already. And there's loads of reasons uh, why you might choose VertEasy. Uh, and lastly, is it available to download now? So we don't have a public download, but if you're listening to this and you're one of our clients, uh, you're welcome to go to your client space. And I'll put that up on the screen as well. Let me just get that up. Okay, so if you're a client, uh, you can actually go to verteasy.com slash client. And I'll type that in for you here, verteasy.com slash client. So you see you've got your client portal. You just need to put in your password uh, that you got when we did the installation. If you can't remember it, just send me an email and I'll send you yours. And then on here, you have your links for the updates, the change log, and all the new uh, user guides and everything else as well. Okay, is it one simulator per student? So we have a number of universities uh, that do different things, and it's really up to the university. So we have universities that do classrooms where they share a simulator between multiple students and they do take it in turns, they go around. Uh, we have universities that give classrooms that are one-to-one, -one, so one simulator for one student. And uh, we also have universities that have open access rooms. So it means that it's not teacher-led, but students come in when they need to work on specific skills, uh, things like indirect vision, for instance, if they've not got that down in the clinic and they then come in with their passes and then go on the simulators. Uh, but generally, you've only got one person using the simulator at any one time. Even though we have the two screens, the top screens really for the navigation and gives the teacher an overview if they've got multiple simulators in the room. So in terms of percentages as well, uh, most universities tend to have a 1 to 10 uh, ratio. So University of Sheffield, for instance, has 10 simulators and a year group of close to 100. So that's the majority, uh, but it depends on the university and how you want to do it. But feel free to send us an email if you want us to provide more details uh, of other universities, how they do it, uh, how they do the setup, how many students, etc. If you have any ideas on it, uh, that's always welcome. So it looks like that's all of the questions which are coming for the time being. So a huge thank you to everybody uh, that's joined us today. A huge welcome back to all our clients and everyone we know already. And a pleasure to meet you all that it's your first time having experienced 30. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing the new version and all the updates which come with it. And just for those of you who were with us at the beginning, and we had a few issues with the video on YouTube, I'm just gonna go back now and see whether uh, we can play that as well. Because it's a really nice video that 3D Systems has done. Uh, the final level of virtual training. Here we go. They so I'll leave you with that. From one of our OEM partners, Vertizi, in France. Project owner James Markey shows us how the training simulation is broken down into stages so that students can understand the course in bite sized chunks and progress through the curriculum at his or her own pace. To illustrate the levels of learning, James starts the curriculum by educating the surgeons on using the haptic with simple drill simulations. So here in this simulation, each key has a physical property assigned to them, uh, simulating the real life differences between the cementum dentine or the enamel of a human tooth. Uh, so you have C, D, and E. 
In this exercise, dentists are learning how to use the haptic by tracing the letters on the key with the virtual drill while drilling down into the different material properties of the human tooth. This is critical to understand because plastic mannequins do not have the internal anatomy that's, re that's found within humans. And through VR coupled with haptics, dentists are exposed to these differences very early on in their education. From here, they can progress to a more advanced stage of drilling a tooth for a post and crown procedure. As James performs this demo, you can see the drill is carving down into the C key, and he can feel this through the haptic and see on screen that he is unable to accurately trace over the C with the drill. Through this visual and tactile feedback, he knows he needs to change the drill bit to a smaller bit. As he moves over the D key, using the smaller drill that he is more successful in tracing the letter. When he moves to the E key, he now understands he needs a more precise tool than before to accurately trace the letter. In VR, he is able to test his theory by tracing the letter using the haptic but not running the drill. After switching the drill bit, he successfully carves out the letter E using the haptic simulator. Again, each key has the appropriate density and texture applied to it requiring the user to adjust their pressure, pressure sensitivity as one would feel on a real human tooth. Using VR training, Vertizi then moves the student to a real life post and crown simulation within the Vertizi curriculum. This is Vertizi's level three in haptic VR simulation. Virtual training allows companies like Vertizi to provide contextual information to the student prior to a hands-on training simulator. Proper instructions are given to the student and are easily accessible at any time throughout the simulation. Another huge advantage of VR training is the variety of tools needed to complete the task. Many times these tools are absent from the mannequin training and certainly information around each tool is absent as well. Again, through haptic simulation, students can truly feel the tooth and material they are drilling into very early in their education. Lastly, through guided VR instruction using our haptics, users can receive accurate real-time feedback over and over until they have perfected their skill and are ready for a real life patient. At the end of the day, operating on human beings is the ultimate goal. Without this virtual experience using a 3D systems haptic device, students do not receive an in-depth real-time feedback on their progress with an acute understanding on how to perfect their surgical skill. If you would like more information on Vertizi or virtual simulation, please visit www.vertizi.com. If you would like more information on our full product line of 3D haptics or on our Open Haptics SDK or possible simulations with 3D haptics, please visit 3dsystems.com and navigate to the software haptics section on the website. Again, thank you everyone and stay safe.